Hello, I'm Paul Bannon, and today we're going to be talking about statutory compliance in relation to dilapidations. Uh, unsurprisingly, as a tenant, your landlord will expect you to comply with the law of England and Wales. A number of different laws will apply to your occupation of a property depending on the nature of your business. The most common types of regulations will be enacted under the Health and Safety at Work Act 1974, however other laws will also apply. As lease and dilapidations of deals, deals with potential financial losses to the landlord, they will only be interested in your compliance with the laws as they relate to the physical condition of the building. Due to the way that most leases are drafted, it is often the case that regulations which apply to occupied property cannot be addressed under dilapidations. For example, when a building is vacant and it's not a workplace, and therefore, strictly speaking, regulations enacted under the Health and Safety of Work Act 1974 do not apply. Whilst this does not necessarily stop landlord surveyors asking for matters under those regulations to be complied with, your surveyor will assess each individual demand and ascertain whether the landlord is actually entitled to what they are asking for. Quite often, they are not. As with everything dilapidations, it is important to review individual claim items in the context of the overall claim. We commonly see landlord surveyors asking for asbestos surveys, which are often not needed to comply with legislation or the lease. A lot of schedules of dilapidations also include costs for testing of services and fire installations where there is no requirement to do so. Looking back at our repair video, it's important to note that a lack of testing does not mean that an appliance or service is in disrepair. Although normally providing recent test certification is not a lease requirement, you should be aware that if the landlord decides to test an installation which finds defects, you will become liable for both the cost of testing and for remedying the defect, so long as the testing was necessary to find that defect. If no defects are found during testing, however, the landlord will have to bear this cost if testing was not a lease requirement. Uh, no, of course not. This video should only be viewed from a dilapidations perspective. We strongly encourage you to adhere to the requirements, particularly those enacted under criminal law such as the Health and Safety at Work Act 1974. There are some occasions where dilapidations claims made under this clause will be successful, but with the right advice, your dilapidations claim will be minimised. You can contact our team of expert dilapidation surveyors on 02381 550051 who will be able to look into your specific circumstances and provide advice tailored to you on how best to minimise your dilapidations claim.